is a nice thing happened on the plane. Barbara sitting back in the in, in the little lounge with Francis and the four underly. And I think the nearest to Barbara was uh, I was sitting on an uh, uh, outside seat, and John Grant was sitting on the other side. And every now and again, as we we lean across, you know, and then about the third time we did it, bang! John, John Grant got hit. We looked down there. There's a roll lolly. There's Barber taking careful aim <laughs> at these two idiots putting their heads together <laughs> across the aisle. Uh -huh. Now they, in those days, they served tea, tea and bickies, afternoon tea, uh, and. Um, so we had, we had the afternoon tea, and in the middle of the plane was this little curtained off area where the hostess prepared the tea and gathered the biscuits. <coughs> and there was a, a, a lady on board, she was a nurse, um, Judith Humphreys. And she looked up and she saw the hostess, she's standing in a little bay, wiping her eyes, she's obviously crying. So Judith is a very warm hearted person. Got up and she went over, talked to her for a while. Then she saw me. So I went over and she explained. The hostess was very upset. She was talking about the man in the pink coat. Because she'd made him tea and he didn't like it. So she made another cup of tea for him and he didn't like that. So she made a third cup of tea for him, and that was all right. And she said, um, I just so wanted to please him. <laughs> anyway, Judith looked at me and I said, well, look, I, I explain who these people on the plane, Fort Barber was, and his position. And I, as far as we, we were concerned, I said, she's very fortunate, very lucky because on the excuse of not liking his tea, he'd brought her into his presence three times. Mm. <clears throat>